right guys, we're all packed up, ready to go. We're heading out to Portland. Yeah. You think we have enough stuff? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> we're packing light, right? <laughs> all right, it's about a two and a half hour journey. So we're gonna buckle up and get going. Got snacks, fruity snacks. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Dave here and Lauren, and everyone else would like to thank you for coming down with Lock and Load your Adventures here in Montego Bay. As you see now, we're going through early morning traffic, but sooner or later you will see us all at Portland and enjoying ourselves with a little bit of deer hunting, a bit of uh, some fishing, and we hope that everyone will have a beautiful time here. We'd like to thank you, and may we get there and let's go. The first one was way better. <laughs> Alright guys, so we stopped and we found this fruit in the supermarket and it's called a sweet sop. So we're going to try it out. Have you ever tried one of these before? No, it better be sweet because it's sweet sop. Yeah. <laughs> Look, you can just like peel off the little nubs. You don't eat that part, but let's, let's crack like, this thing open. Are you going like Islander right now? Just going to rip it open with your hands? Yeah. Rod a knife. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god, it's super soft. What the heck? Oh my god, look, it falls apart into little... Oh, and there's big seeds inside. So how do you do this? You just suck off the, the meat? You wanna try some? Try it. It's so weird. Where are the seeds? The seeds are everywhere. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that seed. It's good. Mm -hmm. It tastes like a real. I think this one might be a little too ripe mm -hmm. for my liking. Everyone likes their fruit different, but <laughs> hold up. <laughs> That's good. It tastes like a cantaloupe mixed with a pear. Yeah. That's really sweet. Yeah, it does. Okay, you Super try? sweet. But, but was it better than the hog tongue? <laughs> <laughs> the hog tongue. You gotta suck the meat. Yeah, that's my reaction too. <laughs> Why do you smell it? I don't really. It smells fine. Not my type of fruit. <laughs> that was a weird smell. Oh, these guys are too sensitive. They smell good to me. <laughs> that's not the chocolate. So overall, overall, it's sweet. It has a cool texture. I would eat it again. What about you? I'd eat it again. Yeah, I think it's nice. The only thing that kind of sucks is you have to like. It's something that you have to like suck off the seed, suck off the seed. Yeah. You can't just like cut it up and just eat it. Yeah, you can't just take a bite out of it. You gotta, you gotta work it. You gotta work for your food with this one. It yeah, kind of, honestly, it kind of reminds me of a jackfruit. Yeah. The way the inside what? is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I caught it. <laughs> eat it. Yeah, pretty small. Oh, mm -hmm. But not I like it. Mm -hmm. I would definitely eat that again. Highly suggest it. So when you're in Jamaica, pick up a sweet sop. Sweet sop. Alright, so we just made it to the inn that we're staying in. Looks like a bunch of little rooms, but it took us six hours to get here. We had a lot of unexpected stops and it's pouring rain, so it took us a little bit longer than we expected, but we're glad to be here. We're going to unload our stuff and then head out to the hunting area. sit in the field that we found back there and hopefully see if they can shoot a deer. It's a field with a little bit of crops so they're hoping that a deer will get hungry and go try to feed. <laughs> wow. Wow oh, guys, look at this place. Definitely getting spoiled for my first year hunt. So we do a thing about the camera? Yeah. No, the hill. If you listen closely, you can hear the river that's flowing down there. Mm -hmm. 
Wait, that would fire a little while. But the, the sundown, because they are moving the sundown time, you know, might be lucky to see something fast here. Okay, we're gonna post up here and wait for some deer. And we're preparing to get murked by mosquitoes because the sun's head going down. That's when they come out and they've already started. Are you getting bitten? Damn it. <laughs> we're both getting bitten. And we don't have off. Well, it is what it is. <laughs> Look at that view. It is crazy. Oh my god, this guy's filling up on my blood. Look at that. <laughs> Yeah. We just sat over there for a while, but um, our friend knows a better spot, so we're gonna go check that spot out. She said it's like a deer highway. So hopefully, we get some deer and some dinner. We're coming back in the morning because it doesn't look like it's gonna happen today. So. Until tomorrow. It's quite a hike to where we're going. But it's good because it gives distance between the two hunting groups and the three hunting groups. One's with Gabe, one's with Kelly, one's with me. Bamboo drop. Some fallen bamboo already. Oh, it's kind of slippery too. Okay. Wire? Yeah. What are the wire? Come down. Come down. Okay. You understand me? And the other person up so further up in, on the yeah, line too. I know them yeah. far. Yeah. So, so it can come in anywhere all in between and come uh, down. Ah, so you can pass. So we must hide off down here then. Alright, is it a little tree there now? Yeah. Are you little? That's a good spot to bend wait because they will come out and walk down this yeah, path so, from that side, you say? Yeah, so when they did this, they just bend them up and eat them. So once you come down the line, you, hear? you see my bump come down. You understand me? See the right. right. Go and do your thing, we're good. When you reach near you, you just deal with him. Big up. Yeah, man. So. All right. All you have to do is come and we kill him. Yeah, man. Yes. All right. We Thank can you. see you for the best, here. Thanks. Okay, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this video. You're not going, you're saying me does. You Call this one. You gotta go. You <laughs> said the deer come out of the woods and it takes this path. When okay. they meet up on the fence, mm -hmm. they take this path from up that side and come down. Okay. So he's saying this little bush right here, you must hide behind it. Okay. And hold the gun. I'm going to give you a few shots. I have some other shots I want to exchange it within a while. I'm going to set them up. Okay. But I'll give you some some buck shots. Okay. All right. I have some buck shots in there right now. So we haven't seen anything. We've been here for a few hours. So we're gonna make our way back out. See if we can see anything on the way in. Hey guys, we just came back from hunting. Unfortunately, we didn't get anything. We were sitting in a blind for a few hours after hiking through this uh, bunch of bush. And um, yeah, we didn't get anything. We didn't see any deer, but we still had a great time. But now we're just packing up all our stuff. We're leaving this motel and we're gonna hit the road, hopefully hitting a waterfall on the way home. So I'm really excited about that because I haven't seen a waterfall in a really long time. But we'll take you along with us. So I hope you enjoy it. Guys, before I head out, I wanna tell you about my experience here. It's been really funny, but I have this shower. It's like this little motel on the side of the road, so you can't expect much, but when I turn on the water, it's, it's really cold. 
and the faucet is like all messed up so the water sprays everywhere it doesn't spray like in one direction and then I soaked up my body last night and then all of a sudden the water just stopped and I was like oh no I can't be stuck with all this water on me I mean all this soap on me so then finally came back on I so I rinse myself off I get out of the shower and then I'm coming to bed and I'm like pulling the sheets back and there's a cockroach in my sheets and I was just like oh my god this is too much so I killed it and got a little bit of guts on my on my sheets but I mean big deal and yeah so it was an interesting night here but I mean I had fun it's part of the travel experience right can't complain so we just got to this place called Blue, the Blue Hole. Blue Hole, and it has like a bunch of waterfalls. And Kelly found some kitty cats. Oh. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> Do I have to sign something? Oh, she already said. Okay, it. thank right, you. Welcome, thank you. Thanks. Right, this way. This way. Oh, Which way? There. oh, back up. Alright. So we got this guide who's taking us to the falls. Yeah. Look at that. Alright, so instead of we walk that way, we're gonna use the main bridge. Okay? Uh, yeah. We're saying there's a bunch of crawfish in here. Yeah, crayfish, crabs. Crayfish, yeah. crabs, shrimp? Yeah. Oh nice. So he was saying that the water, you see here, separates two parishes, St. Anne and St. Mary. So beautiful. Oh my goodness. This is so nice. Look how gorgeous this is. Look at that cave. I won't even there. Wow. Oh my god. This is nuts. So our guide was saying that the water is usually really blue. But unfortunately, all the rain washed a bunch of dirt into the water, so it's murkier than usual. No, um, thank you. Yes, that's, that's where I used to work.
No life jacket. We're gonna see. I guess not. I guess a life jacket makes a no bueno. We're okay. We're going first. We can swim pretty well. Who wants to go first? Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. When Kelly and I were free diving for some spider crabs, Gabe came down to this river and he set some crawfish traps. So we're going today to go check them out, see what we got. Look at this place, it's incredible. So we're gonna be heading down the river on one of those rafts right down there. Guys, check out these bamboos. Look at this, they're humongous. I've never seen such thick bamboo plants. It's amazing. And they use them to create the rafts. Look at all the bamboo, how they create it. Isn't that cool? So are y'all getting in this cold water with no wetsuits? Yeah. You're gonna do it with no wetsuit. <laughs> okay. Let's see, let's see. Oh. No, no. Do we have any though? We do have one cool looking thing though. Oh, that's a shrimp. Look at this dude. How oh, often do you shrimp. see shrimp crawl on you like a bug? So first trap had no crawfish, just a little shrimp. So we're gonna head down the river, check the other ones that he set. Hopefully we have better luck with those. First one right here in the game. All right, first stop. <laughs> well, second trap, and we got a couple. Look at that big boy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> He's active. I don't know what it's called. After we go down the river, these guys pull them all the way back up. Look at these guys. Must be strong. Yeah. Wait till you see this! <laughs> I like the sound of that. This is the biggest one I've ever seen. Check that out. Not going hungry. We got food. You happy? Yes. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to get in and see if I can find any crawfish. Wish me luck. 
Hopefully Gabe said it's really cold. Up like mine did. She literally is hurt. I think my butt's already all bruised, so a few more bruises won't hurt. Hopefully. We'll see. All right, going in. You're crazy, girl. It's cold in there. It is? Look at Sierra. She goes like, no problem. It's not as bad as the river we swam in at night. You mask on? Yeah. You've seen them? Have you ever looked in one? Yep. Come here. You just can't take it off until you get back up here. Come here, I'll probably have to loosen it. Refreshing though, but cold. Yeah. All right. Where can I swim? Go swim out. You're going to get a tan. This is refreshing. Yeah, it is. I'm going to just stick my feet in. That's all I need. Lauren's got a big old buoy back there. Yeah. <laughs> that thing's keeping her afloat. Good one too. They're fast, aren't they? He was fast. I just grabbed him. I'm glad I grabbed him, but I did. <laughs> That's a swim. Yeah. <laughs> the next stretch we got pretty long ways. Yeah. I should definitely set a trap over there. There were a lot. I tried to get another one, but it was too far. Were you flipping rocks or just seeing them? I saw their claws hanging out, so I flipped the rock and I grabbed yeah. Was that prawn crawfish prawn. i don't know the difference did it have big pinchers or really skinny skinny ones big one i think crawfish he was colorful too that's the crawfish yeah yeah he's a big one he was under a well i was going for a smaller one and i pulled this rock open and then i saw that big one go and i was like oh. so i chased him down and then i grabbed him these crayfish that I'm catching are not native to Jamaican rivers and streams. However, there are 14 indigenous species of freshwater shrimp that live there. So we're just headed up the river, or down the river, I should say. Lauren comes up and says, holy crap. We almost lost the bucket. Almost lost the bucket. Hold on. That was a close one. Lauren comes up and says, holy crap, I got a big one. Yeah, you got a big one. <laughs> yeah. We almost lost the bucket. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh, that's a, oh, that's a nice one. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, it's gone. Oh, sorry. Did I hit you? Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, you started late. <laughs> this is so cool. I just got out of the water. I was getting a little bit cold and we were going to that rapid, so I didn't want to break my fins. What is it? It's about it's a lot of them in there. Oh, All right. Bring them back in. <laughs> they go for the barracuda that we put in yesterday again. The barracuda did yeah. his trick? Yeah. 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 <laughs> what is it? Oh, well, did in. you just bring that out with it hooked to your finger? Uh -uh. The whole new. Oh, oh, okay. Guys and tennis. We're doing good, babe. We got some crawfish for dinner. Whoa, Sierra. Whoa, Whoa Sierra. Sierra. Too much of a sun this Oh, Sierra. Yeah. Yeah, good oh, Sierra. Good. <laughs> oh, too much of us, too much of us. Come on. <laughs> Sierra, see what you did. Oh, Sierra, 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 catch up, catch up. <laughs> that was a close call. Literally, we were, both ships were going down there. <laughs> <laughs> we almost sank. <laughs> Everyone was getting onto this boat and chaos just happened. <laughs> it was pretty deep too, a whole two and a half foot. Oh, yeah. What are those baskets made out of? The bamboo strip. Bamboo like strip. That, the strip. Oh, did we lose like the outer part of the bamboo, yeah, that's oh. what I made. See, it strips, so it's flexible, see? So you're saying what it's made of? Oh, okay, oh, okay yeah, cool. cool. <laughs> So all these vines we just passed, he said they're wicker vines, they're very strong. So are those just roots coming down from the tree? Yeah, the wicker, yeah. So it's actually in the middle. This is the wicker. I see it's flexible. Cool. They use throughout the furniture. Nice. Then when it dries, it gets hard, right? Hard, yeah. Awesome. All right, guys, that's a wrap of my Jamaica videos. I really hope you enjoyed all the footage of me trying to hunt and the waterfalls and watching me catch crayfish by hand. We had so much fun. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. It really means a lot to me. Thank you for liking this video. Thank you for subscribing. Don't forget to share it with your family and friends. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you next time. Adios.